Hello guys, welcome back to Design Hub. In the previous video, we learned about strainers and their types. In today's video, we will learn about expansion and flexible joints. Expansion joints and flexible joints are parts of piping systems that absorb vibrations and motions and adjust for thermal expansion and contraction to prevent damage to pipes and equipment. They increase overall operational efficiency, guarantee system flexibility, and lessen the strain on interconnected components. Despite certain similarities, they have distinct functions and are applied in different contexts based on the particular movement or stress that has to be reduced. Let's see what is an expansion joint. Expansion joints are made to accommodate dimensional changes in equipment and pipelines brought on by mechanical movements, thermal expansion, and contraction. They enable regulated movement and guard against harm from materials expanding when heated or contracting when cooled. A piping system's expansion joints are installed to absorb shock and vibration. They also offer benefits like compensating for misalignment and lowering noise. For thermal expansion in hot situations, special expansion joints can also be made. Typically, expansion joints are composed of rubber, metal, or braiding. Stainless steel hoses that are braided and have metal or flexible liners are not expansion joints. The majority of applications involving the problem of thermal expansion use metal expansion joints. The metal expansion joint compresses as the pipe's temperature rises to make up for the movement and reduce pipe stress. Metallic bellows can be made of several materials, such as nickel alloys and stainless steel. Let's see various expansion joint types are as follows. The first one is metallic expansion joints, also can be mentioned as bellows. It is designed to absorb axial, lateral, and angular movements. Metallic expansion joints are made of flexible metal bellows. Usually, Stainless steel or other metals that resist corrosion are used to build them. Frequently applicable in high-temperature fluid systems, steam, gas, oil, and chemical processes where thermal expansion is important. Benefits include a high resilience to pressure and temperature as well as the ability to manage large flow rates. The second one is rubber expansion joints. Design these joints are capable of withstanding axial, lateral, angular, and torsional movements. They are occasionally reinforced with fabric or wire and are composed of layers of synthetic rubber or elastomers. Uses, frequently found in low to medium pressure systems where flexibility and vibration absorption are crucial, including cooling, sewage, HVAC, and water systems. Benefits include outstanding corrosion resistance, superior flexibility, and noise and vibration dampening. The third one is tied and hinged expansion joints. If we go through its design it is equipped with gimbal structures, hinges, or tie rods to regulate movement in axial, lateral, or angular directions. These joints may control significant displacements while preventing undesired motions. It is employed in refineries, power plants, and chemical processing facilities where restricted, controlled movement is required. The benefits can be that it provides accurate movement control, guaranteeing safety in systems with significant expansions or misalignments. A bellows element fastened to end fittings with threaded rod or bar hardware passing through it makes up the tied expansion joint. The EJ's length is restricted by the lugs or rings to which the tie rods are fastened. The attachment hardware and tie rods are made to withstand pressure thrust. The overall length of tied expansion joints is intended to be fixed. The manner the tie rods are fastened prevents axial movement and guarantees that the ends of the edge always stay parallel. Only two degrees of freedom, lateral in two axes, are possible with this design. Here, the hinged metal expansion joint is presented for one axis angular movement with welding ends and fixed flanges. Also, the hinged metal expansion joint for lateral and angular movements in one plane with welding ends and fixed flanges is presented. Here, single hinged and gimbal expansion joints are in action. A system consisting of two gimbal expansion joints and one hinged expansion joint, as illustrated in the diagram, must be utilized when it is either impossible or undesirable for the horizontal portions of piping to absorb the expansion of the vertical part. The fact that only one plane of movement occurs in the vertical part justifies the usage of a hinged expansion joint. Let's go through applications and uses of expansion joints. Thermal expansion and contraction. To prevent stress and distortion, expansion joints are inserted to adapt to variations in pipe length brought on by temperature changes. Vibration dampening. 
They shield the piping system from wear and strain by absorbing vibrations from pumps, compressors, and other equipment. Absorption of movements, they lessen the strain on pipe supports and related equipment by compensating for axial, length changes, lateral, side-to-side, and angular, bending, movements. Pipeline alignment, during construction and operation, expansion joints aid in correcting minor misalignments. Now, let's go through the advantages of expansion joints. Prevents damage. Expansion joints shield pipe systems and related equipment from undue strain and strain by absorbing motions. Supports large motions. They are perfect for large systems subjected to temperature variation since they can manage sizable motions in all directions. Customizable. Expansion joints can be made to fit certain materials, applications, and mobility requirements. The drawbacks of expansion joints include the need for routine maintenance. Metal expansion joints, in particular, are susceptible to corrosion and wear, which calls for routine examination and replacement. Limited lifespan in some environments, when rubber expansion joints are subjected to high temperatures, chemicals, or ultraviolet light, they may eventually deteriorate. Now, the second type of joint is flexible joints, sometimes referred to as flexible couplings, which are employed in pipe systems to cushion against small vibrations, motions, and misalignments. Because of its flexibility, the system can more easily adapt to minor changes in position, movement, or vibration without causing damage to the pipes. Parts associated with hoses that are resistant to bending, twisting, vibration, etc. are called flexible hoses. Flexible hoses can be used to absorb vibrations and correct plumbing mistakes. The hose is made of fluoropolymer, copper, stainless steel, and other materials. Although copper and stainless steel are hard materials, the structure is designed to be corrugated, which makes them flexible hoses that resemble rubber tubes. Workability is increased by using a product with a flexible structure and union connections at both ends of the hose. Products that may use gases, oils, solvents, and other substances in addition to water and air have a variety of uses. In addition to effectively reducing vibration in a variety of pumps, the stainless steel hose with a non-weld integrally molded flange also serves as a safeguard against earthquakes and land subsidence. Let's see flexible joint types. The first one is the flexible rubber joints. These joints are designed accordingly so that flexibility and capability of absorbing axial, lateral, and angular movement since they are composed of rubber or elastomeric materials. For extra robustness, they are frequently reinforced with wire or fabric. It is applicable and frequently found in low-pressure plumbing systems, water supply lines, and HVAC systems. Beneficial for systems connected to vibrating machines because of their exceptional flexibility and ability to absorb noise and vibrations. The second one is the flexible metal joints, also known as flexible metal hoses. These joints are designed accordingly, which can tolerate high temperatures and pressures, are made of corrugated stainless steel or other metals, and offer flexibility. For strengthening, they are frequently worn with a braid. It is applicable in high temperature, high pressure systems including oil refineries, chemical processing facilities, and steam lines. Beneficial in harsh conditions, they don't corrode or wear out. Flexible and able to withstand high pressures and temperatures. The third one is the ball and socket joint. The design consists of a spherical ball and a socket connection that permits axial, lateral, and rotational movements, among other directions of flexibility. Frequently applicable in systems with frequent misalignments, these pipelines need multidirectional flexibility. They are adaptable for managing dynamic pipeline movements since they can absorb movements in various directions. Let's go through functions and applications of flexible joints. Vibration absorption. The piping system may experience stress or damage as a result of the vibrations that pumps and compressors transmit, which are lessened by flexible joints. Noise reduction. They reduce noise produced by machinery or fluid flow by attenuating vibrations. Compensation for misalignment. Flexible joints can be used to correct small misalignments in the pipe system, especially when the system has moving parts or is being installed. Thermal movements. Flexible joints can handle slight thermal expansion and contraction in the pipework, although not being as specialized as expansion joints. Now, 
let's go through the advantages of flexible joints. Flexibility, to account for pipe movements and misalignments, they provide a great degree of flexibility. Vibration and noise reduction, these joints work well to reduce noise and dampen vibration, especially in mechanical and HVAC systems. Simple installation, flexible joints are appropriate for dynamic systems that need frequent maintenance or modification since they are comparatively simple to install and remove. Now, we will see some negative aspects of flexible joints. Limited movement range, flexible joints are less efficient for big expansions or contractions than expansion joints because of their more constrained range of motion. Wear and tear, rubber flexible joints are susceptible to deterioration over time, particularly when exposed to harsh chemicals, fluctuations in temperature, or ultraviolet light. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more engineering insights. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Until then learn in advance.